goes live! <laughs> Swap amazing. series, baby! Oh, it's swapsies. Swapsies. <laughs> swapsies indeed. So welcome to another episode of the Swapsy series. And today our guest is a very special man. He's a very talented individual. He can multitask. He's a professional talker and entertains the nation every mid morning. It is the one and only Tom Green. What a guy. All those stats were right. And golf's biggest nerd. That's true, that's true. I'm having the day of my life today. You absolutely blew me away this morning. We spent some time at uh, Hits Radio. Yep, yeah, Hits Radio. And Wow. Yeah. I was literally driving here just thinking, you are incredible. Thanks. It, you'll see what I mean in a bit. A man that can do all that, wait till he thins his irons yeah. all today. Oh. Well, I was fatting it on the range, so today should be a quality day. And uh, we're here at the Grove, by the way, and it's absolutely immaculate. Ready to play some golf? I would love to. Let's do it. Let's go. So this is the fifth here at the Grove. 402 yards straight into the breeze, one of the toughest holes. Out in the golf course, what a start. Great. Shot by right there. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You saved all Cheers. your good shots for the first four holes. <sighs> Look at that divot. This is world class. <laughs> Do you wanna hit another one? Yes, 100%. <laughs> go for I it. I can't have that as my first shot. <laughs> oh, Tom. Oh, that's left. Should we do a little mini match play as well? Loser has to do 5,000 pints afterwards. Mm. Whee, okay. whee. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've just had a lovely day. It's been so nice. Speaking of the day, this morning, going into your little office. Yep. Immaculate. You come around if you want. Have a look. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is mental. I literally would have thought you'd have people. It was a battle of the Jameses, and James number two won. Superstar Jamelia plays now. It's hits radio. Fast, isn't it? Just got to go, go, go. Mate, this is amazing. I can't even keep up. Hello, it's Tom Green from the radio. Who's this? I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> I love it. Do you ever it's... forget to breathe? No. No, I'm all right, I'm all right for breathing. I, it's just... Um... I just can't believe how much you do by yourself. Yeah. This yeah. is crazy. It's um, call is there for you. So that's my editor in Manchester. So he'll wow. turn that round now. Like, A, what a cool place to work. When mm. we walked in the doors, I just thought, wow, this is like the London city life. Yeah. But also you just caressing all those buttons, multitasking. It looks incredibly difficult, but you make it look so easy. Yeah, I think after a while, it becomes really second nature. Mm. And I think it has to be second nature because if you're thinking about what you're doing and yeah. all the buttons, there's no way you can be natural. Yeah. There's no way you could think about broadcasting or what you're saying yeah. if you're constantly thinking about the buttons. It's like a little dance, isn't it? Just having a bit of a flow. It's just a little dance. Can you dance? Uh, no. I've got in my... the music industry and you can't dance? No. Oh, surely you've got a two-step in there. One of these. <laughs> The dad dances out, guys. Yeah, I turned, turned 30. 30. I turned 30 and it felt like, I said this on air today, I turned 30 and all of a sudden all my dancing feels really bad. <laughs> yeah. With the hand in Give the Give one of them. Some of this. Of I played junior golf for a while and was very evidently not good enough quite quickly. Right. And then I just fell in love with radio. I feel like I was the last generation of people to actually right. go like under the duvet <laughs> and listen to radio. Well done. I don't know why I do this. I do this because I've seen them do it on Sky Sports. Still, Still like... on you, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God. Oh, Go! Straight down the middle, Tom. Oh. Oh, that's straight off the toe. Good shot. Cool. Get in the bunker. That's way short. Who inspired you to go, right, I want to be a radio host because of them? Or so, was that not the case? No, it was 100%. I was always a massive um, Chris Moyles fan uh -huh. on Radio 1. So Chris Moyle, Scott Mills, Zane Lowe, Fern Cotton. Oh yeah. I was of that era of Radio 1 yep. and just was obsessed by it. It's so thing. different to TV. Oh yeah, TV's very like... Oh, this seems think... way harder. It's... The good thing, I think the good thing about going from radio into TV yeah. is that I'm used to being live. And there's yeah. no script. It's just me. I just have to talk. So and when you're you, good at that. I'm all right at that. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I do most things live. Like, everything is live on this show. Bar callers. Because you can't trust them. But look, my editor's just dropped it in now. So there's this call. 
Bernie, I'm Tom. How are you? So there's my in. Hi, James. Are you there? Bernie, I'm Tom. How Great. Cool. Fine. So let's get it into the log. I, my, honestly, my brain just cannot keep up. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's find out what we're going to play on the radio. Let's cross to some lines. Uh, hello, James. Are you there? Yourself? Yeah, you want, you want, what do you yeah. want? Like, what, what do you want me to play? The top of the IG, please. Oh, see, I think, James, I think you're going to be angry with me because I said Mo Money, Mo Problems is winning. There you go. <laughs> wow. I told you it was a bit of a hectic bit of the show. Yeah. We're through that now. We're done. And then when you pre recorded, you had the control of adding the drama, adding the drama. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so doing that whole like, it's called fader wanking, is what it's referred to in the industry. <laughs> Um, and I'm a big fade away. Yeah. I really am. It can't be an easy gig to get that. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to be a radio host and then become a radio host. It must be quite a difficult process. And watching you in that studio, you've got the skill set for so many roles. Yeah. That probably helps you stand out. Well, I've done, I've done all the roles. Yeah. I've been an assistant producer. I've been a producer. I've been a presenter. Being a presenter, is quite stressful because it's your name on the door. Yeah. You know, everyone else can contribute to the show. Mm -hmm. but if it goes wrong, there's only one person that's saying it. Oh, Jesus, it's so skinny and awful. Go. Oh! Oh, what a touch. Sit down, sit down. Short of the day so far, that wasn't easy. One in the bunker, one. Two, three, four, five. This is for a double. Okay, that's all right. What's this One, for par? One, two, three, par. Yeah, par for par. You've not eased us in here at all. Nope, too low. That started outside. No, cool. To be fair, that was a little bit right to left. <sighs> Real cool, cool start to the video from me. So we met yeah. on Challenge Tour for yeah. Sky Sports, right? And I was doing all the socials for... Yeah, you took my job for a few days. I did, yeah, <laughs> I did. And it was an honor. <laughs> So I was doing socials for Challenge Tour and they were like, everything's first take yeah. with you. And I'm like, I, I've got no choice here. Mm. It has to be first take because mm -hmm. you're live. There is no retakes live. Yeah. So the idea of like, you just deliver it. Yeah, I'm, I do definitely prefer live stuff over recorded. Because totally recorded stuff, you know you can try and do it again and again, whereas live, you just got to go for it. If you make a fool out of yourself, crack on. Whatever. It's the best thing. Yeah. More stuff like this all day tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. Mystique and scandalous. I'll see you at 10 o'clock. 60 minutes in the mix. Start the show as always. Hattie's next with Zara Larson and Hits Radio Live tickets. A lot of it is. A lot of it is second nature. Yeah. And like I've when I've seen like me, me filmed in the studio uh -huh. in the past doing the show, it's bonkers because you watch all the hand movements and like I'm not even thinking about. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just. It's just such a flow. To the point, I feel really self conscious to be here. This is like your it's flow. It's touch screen. So yeah. Touch it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is your home club at the moment? So I was a member of Muswell Hill for years, and I've just moved like 10 minutes down the road to here. Oh. Hey, The Grove. It's one of the best golf courses I've ever played. Fancy a new member? Let's see what that one is. <laughs> yeah. No, it's amazing. This is such an, a beautiful golf course. Yeah, I do absolutely adore it here. Right, so this is a par five down breeze. See that tree trunk in the distance? Yeah. If you pitch it at that, that'd be great for you. Come oh, back. carry it. Carry it. Nice, Tom. That's still fairway. Yeah. The cool thing about golf is that we get to play golf courses that, you know, professional golfers tee it up in major championships in. Like, it's possible. Yeah, that's what I love about this sport. And that's why, as you say, like, I'm really reluctant to see binification, whatever it's called. The <laughs> splitting of the golf balls. What a what, word. Yeah, binification, bi I don't know what the word is. Um, I'm really reluctant to see that because that is the beauty of this game. Yeah. Is that if you can save a few quid, yeah. you can jump onto Birkdale yeah. and play an open course venue. You thinking lay up here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I've got Oh, you three. didn't announce your whole shot. Is it this one or the next? Oh. Where are you taking it? Well, I'll have to take it on the next because I'm not a cheater. So I'll, <laughs> I'll do it on the next. Um, the par three. The par, yes, yeah, you, you've seen me on a par three. That will do very nicely. Look at the draw beautifully right to left, following the camber of the fairway. I mean, it looks great, but it is quite awkward. It's really awkward. Yeah. We'll just go for it. Go for it. 
Whoa, that was a weird ball flight. Yeah, it's pretty nice though. Here's a huge question, right? Right. Should Tiger Woods have called it a day as he walked across the Silicon Bridge? Should that have been the moment where he went, I'm, I'm, I'm done? Because <laughs> it would have, it's too perfect. Yes, I think so. And I hate to say it, the golf nut in me hates to say it. We do love watching him play, but at the same time, I really struggle to watch him struggle. Yeah. Like, it pains me. There's no way Tiger can tarnish his legacy. There's no way you can tarnish your legacy. You can't. You're Tiger no. Woods. You're, in my opinion, you're the greatest athlete. You're the greatest sports person, yeah. in my opinion, that has ever been. Yeah. You can't tarnish that legacy. But it is hard to see him struggle. It's horrible. You've got 150 yards. Okay. Ball seven iron? It is a seven iron, yeah. Okay. Ball above my feet. Just a little bit. Yeah, so. I feel like I could caddy for you. I feel I like I know your numbers already. You're going to be the best. I would right. tell him to club down to an eight iron there. He's going to start it at the flag. And also aim a little further right. It's thin as hell. I'll tell you what, it's right. <laughs> Absolutely thin as hell. Sit down. That's all right. Are you from the same area as. Uh, is it Keith Lemon? What's his name? No, he's from Leeds. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the bloody Pennines. <laughs> There's the Pennines. Uh, Preston's here. Leeds is there. It's the whole... yeah, you've offended... it's, it's the same line though, isn't it? It's the it? same line, but you've just offended Lancashire and Yorkshire. Sorry. So, I'll yeah. just stop talking. Yeah, yeah, but no, yeah. I'm basically Keith Lemon. Uh, tip for win, by the way. Yeah. What do you do? Do you just drop a bit of grass? I drop a bit of grass, yeah. Okay. Number one tip. That's good. But if you're playing like tree line courses, see how we're sheltered by trees here. Yeah. It can be quite deceptive. Number one rule, look at clouds. See it's going to the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best indicator because it's the highest point. So you know when you hit a shot, it goes over the tree line. Yeah. So did you ever see a ball take off and then it goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of that. So always look at the clouds first and work your way down. So then I go that tree top yeah. to see the strength of the breeze. And then I'll probably look at flag and then grass. So cool. Draw. Come back. It will Wind. Be. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Well, I actually think out of the uh, post the range, you actually have been hitting them pretty well. Oh, the range, the guys. range was actually. Bad. Uh, James is behind the camera right now. He's going to edit this video. Throw the bloopers now. James edited this video. Here's some stuff from holes one to three where I look like I could play golf. I'm so bad at reading putts. I'm just gonna say it's downhill. I reckon this is three putt territory. Oh, break some. Slow down, 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 slow down. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. That was low all the way. That's not even oh, given. Oh, oh, that's no gimme. There's no point in match play leaving these short, is yep. there? So you might as well go for it. He hates it. He absolutely hates it. I pulled it. <sighs> what a friendly game. This is so friendly. Can I just press like one button um, when we come off air? Yes, of course you can. I mean, you can press the buttons now. Well, can I just dial a knob? You can. Let's say Whoa. you can... Oh, that is scary. Go here. <laughs> Alicia Dixon. If you can press any of these. What do I do? Just press the screen and it'll press something and it'll start. This? Yeah. Stop. Oh, there you go. Radio. I've done it. Saucy series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me you a pro. That. <laughs> you totally nailed that. Piece. She's definitely not on air. No, 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 you're not on air. That would check. be horrific. Let me check. Why don't you do a link for me? We are coming out of Kian de Crow and we're going into Zara Larson. It's Hits Radio. It's Hits Radio. We are coming out of Kian de Crow and we're going into Zara Larson. It's Hits Radio. It's Hits Radio. There. <laughs> right, let's see what that's. There you go. One. That's so cool. You sounded so natural. Oh, Why don't you do this? Come here, quick, 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 quick. Day. Just keep bouncing that on the down. Speak and scandalous. I'll see you at 10 o'clock, 60 minutes in the mix. Start the show as always. Hattie's next with Zara Larson and Hits Radio Live. Leave it there. There you go. Radio. That was live. <laughs> <laughs> swap amazing. series, baby. Oh, swapsies. 
Swapsies, <laughs> swapsies indeed. I got 117 playing 125. It's a solid eight for you, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is a solid eight. I was listening to your podcast on the way here. Thanks. Honestly, I'm not saying this because you're here, but loved it. Thank you. Really, really enjoy listening. It's an, it's an easy listen. Yeah. It's relevant, it's relatable, and it was just so nice to listen to your dulcet tones <laughs> on my way to the Grove. Thank you. No, it was great. Really enjoyed it. Thank and um, you. your co-host is... Yeah, so it's called Golf Is Ruining My Life, and <laughs> my co-host is called Tom Price, and you can get it in all the podcast places. Well, at least it's not called Golf Is Ruining My Marriage. No, well, I'm not married, well, you're not married yet. married yet. Yeah. Not it, long to go. Her, my my fiance, wife to be, his dad was a big is a big golfer. Right. So he sort of laid the laid the ground for me. Well, it's a good way to get in the good books, then, isn't it? Amen. I like that. Yeah, I mean that's really good, isn't it? I'm hoping that's really good. <sighs> Beautiful, lovely tempo, pin eye. Great clubbing, what can I say? It feels nice, doesn't it, when you hit a good <laughs> shot? And turn in and sit and sit down next to it. Excellent. Yeah, I like that. Still seeing that in. Yeah, of course. So Tom, you know how this is a you know how this is a Swapsy series? Yeah. This morning you were really kind enough to bring us into your studio, show us what a couple of buttons mean, because yep. there's too many to count. Of course. How about you commentate? on my putt, my birdie putt. I'd absolutely love that. You can tell when it absolutely means everything to a player. She needs this, she needs to roll this in. inti has been playing incredible here at the Grove. Um, we've had some great shots, but now is where it all counts. The pressure has been slowly ramping over the last two holes. And it's these putts that really define the players. Difficult 10 footer. Incy steps up. It's all come down to this. She's crumbled. Yes! Yes! You need to make your butt. Great commentary. Did you hear what my final word was? Uh, no, I was so in the zone. Just before it rolled in. I said she's crumbled. Oh my god. So that's a, so that that's cool. <laughs> this is the final hole of the Swapsy series YouTube video. Uh, please subscribe, like and leave a comment down below if you haven't already. Uh, Tom Green, radio host, one of the nation's best, has got this four footer for a half. It depends how badly he wants to down 5,000 pints of beer, but fair to say looking at his physique and running a marathon in three and a half hours. Let's just see what this putt does. A little bit left to right, for the half. Can he make it? Oh, get in there, he my son. This. He needs this. He is still. He needs this. Oh, I'll tell you what, Tom. That was such in. a pleasure. That Thank you so fun. much. Fun. You have been an amazing guest. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for showing us around the studio. Oh. Playing golf with me, but let's play a few more. I would love that. Thank you. A half. Been amazing. A half. I half. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for another video coming soon.